Turtle Rehab Centre and um, we've cleaned these two tanks for our two current turtles and now this one is being refilled but we also need to make it saline so I've got a, um, a bag here which I'm filling up with salt Then, we'll grab the hose and we'll give it a little rinse. And then, this is a kind of mesh bag, so I can lower it into the tank. And it will slowly, with the hose, it will slowly seep out into the rest of the water. So I'll leave that there for a second and grab a paddle to stir the water and try to make the salinity the same all over. Eventually we'll grab this hydrometer and um, this will tell us the exact amount. So we're looking for a salinity of 32 which is the same as seawater. so far because there's been storms earlier on in the week so people are staying away from the beach but also there is supposed to be a rerun of the general election or the presidential election tomorrow um, nobody's sure whether it's actually happening uh, the opposition doesn't want it to happen um, but the ruling party may make it go ahead anyway uh, so today and tomorrow and maybe the day after are all public holidays, so uh, it's a bit of a quieter than usual here. We've been in Watami for two and a half weeks now, so we're starting to get to know the place. Um, finally here we've been uh, eating the local Kenyan food. Um, everyone in the centre eats together at lunchtime and um, it's kind of different things on a weekly rotation. The main staple is ugali, which some of you may have heard of. It's not as bad as you might think. It, <laughs> it's uh, basically like polenta, but it is, it is quite stiff and hard. Um, but it's mixed either maybe with some chicken, if that's what you eat, or um, with some spinach and stuff. And we're definitely getting used to it. We also have a lot of chapatis and beans and uh, we're really enjoying going to the local um, fruit and veg stores ourselves, um, picking up mangoes, pineapples, papayas, yeah the fruit is really really good. Last weekend we went out with a couple other volunteers and a couple of local boys to Paradise Pub which is in the village just around the corner. It's a really beautiful sort of outdoor bar um, but very very cheap, very local and there we drank some palm wine or cocoa wine um, which is fermented from coconuts um, no one really knows how strong it is. I think we'd say it's about the same strength as wine. Um, it's got a very fermented taste, but if you kind of imagine that it's like a fruity bread, then it's alright to drink.
just come back from a great time at the Arabuco Sokoke Forest. Uh, Sammy from Turtle Watch gave us a tour. He lives just on the outside of the forest so he took us round the edge and pointed out a lot of amazing things. We saw some great bird life like a fish eagle and a hornbill trumpeter I think. Um, and uh, he took us to see his house which was really nice. His dad's 95 and was there. And then the highlight was seeing the area of land that he has donated to the forest and set up as a watering hole for the local herds of elephants that live in the forest. So we got to see a mother and calf come out of the forest and have some water, which was really amazing to see them in the wild and see them emerge out of the trees like that. And yeah, it was a great afternoon. Mm -hmm. 